Hello, people of YouTube. We are returning with advice, and um, the gameplay is of uh, Fear 3 Soul King. Um, I was going to do a gameplay of Far Cry 3, but, like, I had to film that. But I'm really busy this week, and I really need to get some Happy Wheels done since I'm behind on recording that. And I'm busy this week, so I only have one other day where I can record and I have to do Happy Wheels so I can have something for Sunday. But I'll get Far Cry 3 um, gameplay next time. Okay, so let's start this. Send me your advice questions. Beauty and the Beast. I really need some help. The thing is, I'm totally falling for a man who I don't consider very attractive. I love being around him, and he feels like a fairy tale come true. But I would be so embarrassed introducing him to my friends and family because he is shorter than me, and sh I'm short as is. Ugh. I don't feel so good today. I got, like, really major allergies. It's like each time I film advice, I have allergies for some reason. <gasps> oh. He has growths on his face. He has a belly. He is older with wrinkles. In fact, when we get intimate, I prefer to have the lights off at all times. <laughs> his words are, and actions are amazing, but I just want to see his face in a picture together. I actually get really turned off. I know this seems really, really shallow, but I don't know what to do. I don't understand why anyone would, wouldn't take care of themselves... To look a little better. You need to give him a makeover. Like, you gotta break the ice and say it. Uh, guy, you're not very attractive. And he just needs to either get over it or break up with you. That's what's going to happen. And if he gets over it, then you're going to, like, make him look better. Or make someone else make him look better. I don't know, but it's one of those options. Okay, next. Okay, here's the next one. Interracial love. The other night, I asked my dad if I could go to a movies with a guy friend. Him being my boyfriend of two weeks, I wanted my dad to meet him. I told my father he was black and he hasn't spoke to me since. I don't get to go to the movies. I didn't get to go to the movies either. I don't know if I should just continue in my relationship with this guy or put it on pause until my dad speaks to me about it. I didn't think he would react in such a manner, but clearly he doesn't like it. Anyone else had the same experience? or can give him advice about it. Okay, this guy is so racist. I hate racism and s sexist people, um, homophobic people. What is wrong with you? Everyone's the same. You don't need to, like, j judge them by their skin color, uh, their gender, or the way they act. It's it's their way. You need to get the hell over it, okay? So you continue dating this guy, and your dad can't say anything about it. Um, I heard that there are some problems with interracial love, and I've never tried it before, and I'm not really a genius on what those problems are, so I might be wrong about this. I don't know. <laughs> okay, next. Okay, so here's the last one. It's longer than the others. Help me, please. Need advice. Okay, so I'm bisexual. I realized this in October of last year when I fell head over here heels for a girl named Ashley. The thing is, she had feelings for me, too. I'm going to skip the super long, intense... Uh, hmm. What? Oh, I, like, blanked out. I was thinking of a four-letter word that <laughs> should be bleeped out, but... Yeah, bleep, that's uh, happened to lead up to now, but basically a little over a month ago, we started dating. But less than two weeks ago, I told her that I couldn't be with her right now because I was too unstable. Now, I'm feeling a little bit better about life in a general, and she's told me that she'll wait for me as long as she has to. I miss her a lot and want to be with her again. Okay, so I have two problems here. I'm afraid I'm going to break down again and end up hurting her, which I really don't want to happen. Okay. I don't think it will be, and I'm learning to accept the fact that I'll never be fully stable, but she understands and cares for me anyway. We both have multiple personalities, so sometimes things can get a little confusing, but we make it work. Number two. 
I resolve that I won't let myself be with her again until I tell my parents that I'm bisexual. My parents are totally gay friendly, but when I first realized that I was bi, I tried to tell my mom, but she flipped out on me saying, you are either gay or straight, there's no in between. And she stomped away and made rude comments about it nearly for a month. I feel like she's going to be really pissed and I don't want to break down again and cause more issues. Should I tell them? I want to, but... I'm so afraid. And how do I tell them? Thanks for any help here. Okay, so here's another thing about parents who are just a-holes. Like, they're total assholes when they come to all this ugh, different people stuff. I hate it. It's not the 50s anymore. Get over it. Okay, but anyway, you better tell those parents like it is. Okay, well, you can do it in either two ways. One, you can play it the safe way and just say, oh, well, I'm a lesbian. Like, don't tell them you're bisexual. Tell them that you're a full-on lesbian. Okay, and that will make everything happy. And the second way you can do it is you can risk it and go, hey, you best, like, just get over the fact that I'm bisexual because I can't change. That's my choice, and that's the way it's going to be. If you don't like it, fine. Then so be it. Take that. <laughs> yeah, that was the nice way to put it. Okay. But yeah, you can either do one of those two things. That's really up to you. And um, the multiple personality thing, uh... Try to get some help with that. Like, try to get some, like, counseling if you don't have it already. Try to get some help. Um, take medication. I think there's medication for multiple personalities. I think so. Take some of that. Get your, um, little girlfriend to do that too. Even though she's as stabler than you, but you didn't really tell us about that. Okay, so that was advice for this time. Send me your advice questions. Bye-bye.